Hello art fam, it's Luis Martin, the art engineer, and welcome to the studio, welcome to the safe space. Alright, we're gonna collage. Uh, before we jump into all of our exciting adventure for today, remember to follow, subscribe, but most of all, remember to share. Uh, it's hard to find these little gems of things, yes, these little gems of things. Um, so share it with a friend, share it with someone who might benefit from learning a little bit about collage, a little bit about art, a little bit of our pop psychology, and in this episode, a little bit of New York. Yes. All right. So I live in New York. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to dream about living in New York. Now I live in New York and I still feel like a kid. And this might be a dream. You might be a figment of my imagination. Who cares? It's all good. But I thought, you know what? Let me go out there and um, take you with me and get some material. In New York City, there's all this urban decay, right? It's very beautiful, it's very glamorous, it's gross, it's disgusting, but I love it and it's probably why I'm here. Uh, so I thought I'd go and get some material for my collage and so I, I wanted to like rip off some things from walls with all of the posters you've seen them on tv you've seen them probably in your neighborhood and you're like ah get them away from me but no i love them and i stare at them and i see what they're trying to tell me because all of these layers are layers of history right movies posters graffiti so it's a really beautiful collage an actual collage of our culture and our society very specific to your neighborhood, to my neighborhood, to my city. Um, so, let's go. I live next to the Williamsburg Bridge. The Williamsburg Bridge has been a connector to the city all of my life. When I landed in New York when I was 19, I was next to the bridge. And I told my grandma, and my grandma was like, you're going to live under a bridge? Of course, that wasn't the case. But in my head, it kind of stuck, the imagery of living next to or under a bridge. So I went to Target. Actually, it might have been Walmart. Tell no one. And I got those huge suitcases, the hard ones, you know, like the, like the, the ones that you, people used to take in um, steam liners. Uh, the trunks it was a trunk i got three trunks and i thought well if all else fails i can just put these little trunks together and i can sleep on that right that was my 19 year old brain rationalizing what i would do if things didn't work out i was definitely not coming back to la so the bridge connects brooklyn to manhattan from williamsburg to the lower east side and there are beautiful things to see along the way Again, it's beautiful, it's gritty, it's real. Um, New York has gone soft, I'll say that. New York has gone soft if you can afford it. If you can afford to buy a Frenchie or two and walk them open armly and take the whole street, it's gone really soft. If on the other side of the coin, um, you can't afford two Frenchies and vet bills, uh, New York is still New York. It's still gritty, it's super expensive, it's dirty, there's rats everywhere. Um, I wish I could say a lot of us are in the middle, but you're either here or you're there. Uh, I love walking and walking and walking. Uh, it's very th therapeutic for me. I feel like I'm, I'm out pacing myself and leaving myself behind, or, or old versions of myself. Um, the Williamsburg Bridge is pretty under the radar when it comes to thinking about New York. Uh, it's not necessarily the prettiest, it's pink, uh, which is probably why I like it actually, come to think of it. When I got off the bridge, I made a right and went up to 14th Street, which is where Union Square is and where the L that takes me home is. I did find some fun um, 
walls to interact with. I thought I'd find bigger pieces, but uh, I found smaller pieces and I think that's perfect. Close your eyes. So if you are in a urban setting, keep an eye out. I take a lot of pictures of them and I print them out sometimes, but it, I've never really interacted with the city. Personally, because I operate from the safe space, I like to keep my hands to myself. And honestly, I think that's gonna change soon because I, I post pandemic, I encourage you as well to, you know, reach out and touch something, reach out and make a difference. I think uh, this point in our history, our human history with AI, with the stupid politics happening in the world, our hands are important. Our, our interaction, right? We can't just be spectators. Relax. We can do it through art if that's the way that you feel comfortable doing it. So I'm gonna do that. I took some pieces off of the, the, the walls and then I put them under my mat so they can kind of flatten and see what happens. So let me share what I got. Okay, so like I said, I put them under here. I just put it so I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference, but look at this. It's like a paintbrush, right? Ugh. It's also the shape of Florida. Anyway, um, no offense to my art fam in Florida, but you know what I'm talking about. So these are really beautiful. Look at this. Oh, how fun. <clears throat> I don't know what I like the more, the fake drawing grass or the brown. So again, I don't think this is going to be earth shattering, but it, it gives it history, right? I think the whole thing about, oh, look at that. The whole thing about collage and art is what you bring to it. The fact that I went out of my way to cross a bridge um, and get on this other island, Manhattan, and bring these from my journey gives it special meaning, right? This is where as an artist, I'm adding my journey into my artwork. And on the business side, this is where it adds value, right? This isn't something I got at Target as craft supply or art supply. No, this is actual ephemera $10 word, ephemera from New York City from 2023, right? So so it's important. There is something really important to this. Uh, so let's just play. I, I, I might not do anything today and just talk about this because I think this is really important as far as artists and how we interact with our environments. But look, I put this on the substrate and look at that. I mean, it looks like a bunny. It looks like a... a Dove. I mean, the possibilities are endless and don't be precious about this, right? Not only because I went across the bridge and get this, I'm going to treat it differently. Quite the opposite. I'm going to treat it the same and give it the same amount of power that I give to everything else. On my way to finding all of this, there was a magazine store, a bodega, which we call, um, I guess, a, a, what would it be? A convenience store. It's a word I had to learn because in LA, we don't call them bodegas, we call them liquor stores. And liquor stores in LA sell everything, milk, you know, snacks, and liquor. Here, when I first came to New York, I was at work at a museum and I'm like, I'm gonna go to the liquor, I'll be right back. They thought I was gonna go buy alcohol, which I should have, because it would have made it a better experience. Um, anyway, I went to this bodega and I found these postcards, and these postcards really caught my eye because they weren't your typical postcards of like New York or really cheesy. It looked like they'd been there for 20 years. I found this guy, and to be tr to be completely honest, I think this is this is my archetype. This is who I want to be: some cool guy who can smoke without any consequences, and dresses up to go for drives. I really think in my childhood brain that's who I thought I was gonna grow up to be. The verdict is still out. I might do this. Uh, so this is cool. I found this. This is a obviously a postcard of New York. Um, it's sepia, but I just realized that it's it's a new picture because there's some buildings that are um, that are here. And actually, this is the Williamsburg Bridge here, and I live right here. So this is contemporary, but I love the color anyway. I I'm telling you, I love this so much that I bought two of them. Ha. Huh. Um, and one of this. And then this one, this one really caught my eye because it was, it's a person of color and I'm like, and I didn't recognize it, right? Because you often, you never see people of color who aren't Basquiat or, or 
whatever, or Frida. Um, so I was like, who is this person? And I just, her name is Ada Overton Walker, born 1880 deceased 1914 she's a dancer singer actress she was the leading lady of the famous Burt Williams and George Walker musicals she lived she lived right and and wow right I'm an artist when I pass will anybody know who I who I was who knows probably not and who cares so I get to do this now and the fact that I bumped into another creative from the past of color makes me really happy. Actually, I'm looking at my wall, a la limon. Last week, I stumbled upon another Ada to sign. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna play with this. Um, again, I'm a big proponent. I, I love to tell people, use yourself, use your image. No one is looking for you, especially if you're an artist of color, if you're a woman, if you're trans, if you're all of these things that aren't the mainstream. Um, use yourself, take a picture of yourself, do do a selfie, do, do a series, ask a friend to take a picture of you. I've done it many, many times. And every time I go into my box, my collage box, I always bump into myself, right? Um, and I'm like, you know what? I should probably just use this. So here I am. And let me just take out some other stuff. So I always keep my box full of things that inspire me. So let, let's, let's pull out some stuff. So again, I mean, bam, bam, right? Like just, ah, oh, just so much beauty. Okay. I, I said a mouthful. How are you? I can hear you. I, I, I'm beginning to get to telepathy i can't even say i think it's my my my, my crystal I, i'm beginning to like hear you i know you're doing well and also you leave comments so thank you that is very important to me i read all of them even though it takes me some time to get to them um just because sometimes i'm just all over the place you know so i so again i love this and i think when you have a chaotic shape what gives it order is a straight line just a straight line personally i feel like it gives i love i love rough edges i love rough people i love people who are just as crazy as i am but i always need to know that they have at least one straight edge where we can have a conversation where we can pay our bill where we can be civilized and go have coffee um where it's not all just chaos right so i think that translates into my collaging as well so i'm going to give this a nice straight edge my friends and see where it takes me i mean uh, that is so beautiful i mean it's already so beautiful because they're roses um gee i can i mean i'm having tons of fun you guys i don't know i just come along. I also have the, so this is the thing. This is by a photographer. His name is Alan Dosen. This is done in 1990. I don't like using people's work um, that you can recognize. Though I've never seen this image, I know someone will recognize it. I've, I've been working with a lot of birds recently and people are like, oh, the blue foot puffin or the blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Yes. <laughs> so I'm learning as I go, but I also don't want to create opportunity where um, I give light to something that I'm completely ignorant about. So I'm going to mess around with it where it's more about my perception of this than it is about the photograph, right? I mean, so I'm going to play with the duality. Yes, I am a Gemini. So I'm going to play with, you know what? How about this? This is a fun thing to do. So sometimes, uh, no, not sometimes, quite often. I have more than one subscription to the same magazine. So I'll have two issues of the same um, issue. <laughs> so I have two images of everything is basically what I'm trying to say. It's fun to play uh, the duality game with it, right? Using the same image twice and kind of manipulating it and see what happens. Okay, I, I'm happy here. I think so, I can feel things percolating. So you know it's gonna be good. So check this out. Ooh, yes. Okay, I'm liking this. So let me just cut the, the white border out. Um, I always buy postcards to send to people and I never do. 
Um, I just never do. Actually, I, here's a therapeutic practice number 1735. Um, whenever I'm down, I always write a letter to either, to a few people, but mostly to my aunt. Hey, Marie, who was always really positive uh, influence in my life. And sometimes I'll write her a letter and I'm like, oh, ho, ho, woe is me. But I never send it, right? I, I don't want to unload. Uh, sometimes it's good to unload, but this letter is more of a, I know that there's a good vibe out there and I'm just going to set it free. Um, knowing that there's light, right? So if you're ever kind of like in a bad place, write a letter, write a letter to a friend, write a letter to me, never send it, just keep it, throw it away, burn it. Um, knowing that someone out there wishes you well. I wish you well. Okay, here we go. So this is exciting. Uh, I have my little strips here. So this is kind of, what is it? It's noir, it's New York. It also reminds me of film, right? Uh, not only because it looks like a movie, but because of the duality of the image. So let's see what happens. I'm going to bring this back. Oh, this is too rich, you guys. Okay, that's cool. Do I want to use this? I mean, this is kind of very... Okay, so when you get things off the street, yes, <laughs> there will be dirt. I do like this, you guys, but you know what? I'm not going to be so Manhattan-centric because I do live on the other side. Um, so I'm sure you know this. When I moved to New York, I had no idea. Uh, Manhattan is an island. So is uh, Brooklyn and Queens. They're connected. That's an island. So I live on an island as well. And we're surrounded by water. And unless you live elevated, it, it's easy to forget that we're on an island because you don't realize how... Um, close we are to water in the river. So that's really exciting. Mm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Fun. Oh, you got, this is gonna be the shortest video ever, isn't it? Oh, oh it came undone, it's okay. Doop, 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 doop. Can you hear the jazz? Not the jazz that I'm playing, but the jazz that goes with this movie. Okay, like, this is, see, this is the fun part. If you haven't seen my Instagram, you know that, wow, you know that uh, when I post something on Instagram, I usually uh, find an excuse or my collages are my excuse to write, right? I love to write, but I'm super dyslexic and I get lost in my words when I'm writing. So it becomes a vehicle for me to be that writer. Oh my gosh. I think this is a collage already. Okay. So. When I'm looking at this, all these stories are like just flooding in my head already. Um, I love that. I just love that. I, yeah, I love that. Okay. So when you're making art, be open to that experience because all of these things that, um, that you keep in your head kind of come to the forefront and it's really beautiful. Sometimes the stories or the memories that come up, um, because sometimes they need a place to go, right? Like if you have bad memories and, and they just hang around in your head, if you put them in a collage, they have a place to go. And again, you can show it off, put it on Instagram, have an exhibit, or you can just burn it, get rid of it, and there it went, right? Um, oh, I love this, you guys, okay. I'm gonna have to send it to the artist. I think he's still alive. I Googled him a second ago. Um, he might not appreciate it, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, here's the thing, you guys. Um, as artists, and I was I was um, educated as a fine artist. Fine artists go to art school, and we're taught how to be individualistic, narcissistic, and all these horrible things. They aren't going to fly anymore with AI because that's another story. But it's mm, it's not the way the world is going to go anymore. Um, which is why I love my collage community so much because the people that I've met and in my collage community, we're the complete opposite. We're so open and giving and, and someone will do something that I'm doing similarly and 
it's like, oh, how cool it came out so different for you, opposed to, ooh, you're copying me, which is what we're trained <laughs> to do in art school. Like, don't copy, be original. Um, but maybe that's just my gripe. Did you go to art school? Let me know how you were trained to perceive uh, the community or were they just competition? Okay, Yeesh. I love this so much. Uh, okay, I, I want to continue a little bit with this photograph because it's too, it's too much this man's photograph, right? Look at these, these are amazing. I think I can just play with this a little bit, but it's not gonna be enough. This is just kind of because they were looking at me and they're like, use me. Okay. So, if you wanna come to New York, come to New York, bring a lot of money. Um, but also remember, the most exciting place in the world, really, is under your feet. It took me a while to figure that out because I relied on the fact that I lived in, in New York or that I had to move to New York to, to be part of anything. Um, but I remember I have a really good friend, Adriana, uh, who asked me when I, when I enrolled into art school, she's like, oh, what, what, what school are you going to go to? And I said... I won't say where I went because I don't want to give them any any boasting rights. Um, I told her the school and, and she was like, oh, that's so cool. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's a stupid school. I'm only going there because it's cheap. And she's like, yeah, but you're the type of person that's going to go there. And then people are going to want to go there because you went there. And I'm like, okay, I'll take that. But I thought that was so cool, and it took me a while to internalize that, like, oh, right. And here's someone rooting for me, right? Like, what a, what a, what a feeling. So, yeah, wherever you are, that, that's a cool place. So let me know where you are. I want to be cool with you. Um, okay, I, I was playing with this. This is Crink, and it's painterly, and it's kind of um, really messy. So I'm very hesitant to dirty my hand, actually, truth be told. But I'm also very hesitant because it can get, it's unforgiving. That's what I love about collage. Collage is very forgiving. So I'm going to play with this. And uh, actually, I'm not going to play with it. I already have a vocabulary that I've developed when using this material. And this is something, pro tool number 1725. Um, have a vocabulary, right? Have a go-to starting point for certain things. With this, I know I can't do detail. I know I can't do precise cutting like I said I like to do. So I'm just gonna go to my go-to. And what's one of my go-tos with this? You'll see. Axis. I think axes are kind of cool. Okay. Like this, like this. I just need a little bit more spontaneity. Give me a second. Okay, I'm going to use this brush to kind of give it a little bit more of that. You hear that? Um, I love it, and I'll tell you a minute why I love it. Yeah, maybe that's all the spontaneity I needed. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's it. All right, this is my collage, my friends. Uh, let's make some space here. Uh, okay, why does it work? Um, it's balanced, right? There is an asymmetry, but it's balanced uh, very well. Uh, there is enough pattern. And I'm playing with symbolism here. Here I am telling you the story about how I had to i felt like i had to come to new york to be cool to be an artist to be where the cool things are but now i've made a collage about it and i've made a big x i've like come to my senses and be like nope that's a lie let me let me x that out and maybe i still want to be that guy but maybe it doesn't have to be in new york it can be anywhere i've realized right so this is where art becomes something else. This is where it becomes storytelling. This is where it becomes symbolic. This is where it becomes relatable, right? This is where you are invited to make sense of this and we share stories. You guys, this is a collage. All right, I am super excited. Uh, let me know what you thought about this short little sweet collage. And um, yeah, I don't know. I had a good time. This is exciting. It was worth walking that damn bridge. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, this is Luis Martin, the art engineer, reminding you that what you do matters. Make art, show up, and um, I'm rooting for you. Cheers.